welcoming our first fight of the evening. I'm Kevin Bellingham. Twenty-two years old. I'm from Baguio City, Philippines. They call me the silencer. Every time I earn my reputation, I'm just silent but deadly. I started Bushy first, then I shift to MMA. MMA is uh, good. Actually, I considered myself uh, as uh, MMA fan first and fighter as I can. There are many things you should learn. Uh, even if you're not a good striker, but if you're a grappler, then you can take your opponent through your skills. It's a good opportunity for me to fight in Singapore. Yeah, I'm looking forward to fighting uh, Martial Combat Singapore. From the islands of the Philippines and fighting out of URCC, weighing in at 58 kilograms, he is the silencer, Kevin Bellingham. Let's hear it, everyone. Let's hear it for Kevin Bellingham. In the red corner, from the land of the smiles, Thailand. My name is Gu Dedi, uh, 23 year old, me from Thailand. I done Muay Thai already for 10 years and I do MMA a couple of three years. And I don't fight me fight for professional. I don't for five five and MJ. I don't for ten five. And we fight. I don't about hundred fifty fights. In your way, the thing get good, more exciting, more you know, and not not so many people in Thai Thailand are just fight Muay Thai, right? Just I get thinking from different, just learning everything from me. Learn. I can learn everything, you know. Just I don't care from fighting. I like to fight. My name is Wu Dedi. Watch me in my show combat. Representing Tiger Muay Thai and MMA gym in Phuket, Thailand. Weighing in at 58 kilograms, and known fearfully as the indomitable Nudity.
everyone, and very warm welcome. Steve Dawson with you at ringside. My co-commentator is Ray Elby. It's an all Southeast Asian affair. And news one of my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belts uh, has been training under me about three years. Tough fighter, obviously 150 Thai fights. But he's had 10 amateur MMA fights with his only defeat coming to the top uh, bantamweight in Ireland, Damo Rooney. So uh, we're expecting big things from him on this event. Ditty in the white shorts, Bellington, there he is, in the red. These guys both 172 centimetres tall, so giving away nothing in height. Both men in the centre of the ring, you can see that they're southpaws. Orthodox. I beg your pardon, they're orthodox. We're expecting some unorthodox kicks from uh, the fighter from the Philippines, though. Coming from a Sanda Sanchao background, we're expecting some side kicks, snap kicks, spinning back kicks. So we'll Whoa! Go. He just... It's okay. It's okay. New Bellington, just, guard. Bellington caught the kick as it came in, pulled him towards him, and used that leverage to, to get them to the ground. We're okay here. What New needs to do is he needs to try to reestablish his guard. He's got his left underhook. He's got to try to work his left knee back inside if he can, which you can see he's working himself back into that guard position now. As long as his knee's inside there, we're still in a, in a decent position. Back into the guard once again. Good job, New. Both legs wrapped around the Filipino. New's got a high guard. Ooh. And down come the punches from Bellington. Bellington doing a good job of maintaining that outside underhook. That's what's keeping control. You see that right arm underneath New's armpit. Uh, he's going to be looking here to establish a key lock or a Kimura submission. So New's got to be careful to protect that left arm of his. Yeah, don't, don't think for a second that down there on the ground they're having a rest. The core is working so hard. The arm's holding for all they can. If one of those arms get free, then there'll be punches raining down on the head and body. And there's a good example. Bellington now establishing the full mount. This isn't a good grappling performance by New. Uh, I'd like to see him try to use the fence maybe to escape this position here. Uh, you see he's bringing his legs up high, but he's not doing much to defend the position. Yeah, pinned against the fence on the far side of the ring, away from us in our commentary area. And Bellington sending right and left hands down either side of New The referee guard. will stop this fight if he doesn't start trying to defend himself. Yeah. He's got to move or he's got to try to break the position. In goes the referee and it's all over. The big thing was that those punches were coming in unanswered. They didn't look as if they were really getting through so solidly, but the point was there was nothing coming back in reply. Well, here are some of the highlights from the round that we saw. Quickly, Bellington got on top. Bellington does a good job of getting his hips forward and passing the legs. Once he established the guard, the full mount, there wasn't a whole lot here that New Diddy could do to escape the position, unfortunately. And Bellington increases his record to 5-0 and in mixed martial arts. Let's listen to our ring announcer, Christy Simpson. The winner in the blue corner, Kevin Bellingham! Okay, you're, you're known as the silencer for your silent reactions after victories. Uh, do you think tonight, for the winner of our first night here at Marshall, come back for a little reaction? Oh, I just want to say thank you to all the people here who attended the and watched the MMA and the fans of the MMA. Thank you.